Good morning. It is 737 right now. And because I've gone to the store so early for today's grocery haul, some of my stores aren't open yet. So I'm switching up my order. I hope that doesn't mess me up. <laughs> I like to do my stores in a certain order. That's okay. Let's live on the wild side. I'm going to be going to potentially five stores today. What? I've got Sam's Club, Walmart, Target, Aldi, and Meyer. Some of you are worried for me. You're like, oh, you're driving around too much. I promise you I'm not. Like three of those stores are in one strip. I literally can see all three stores from this spot. And then if I just look down the way, I can see the other store and just down the other way is Sam's. So everything is very, very close. I have been working it and working it and working it, saving the money, trying to be uh, smart with where I'm spending money. And you guys, I've been doing it. Two months ago when I started this, I saved several hundred dollars. Then last month, it was December, it was Christmas. So it was more like a couple hundred dollars. And then I'm thinking that I'm gonna find my happy medium here this month. Maybe not. We've had a, a lot of birthdays and so there's been gatherings and whatever. So I don't know, maybe not. But I'm trying to be really conscious of where am I gonna get the best deal? And I've done a lot of that research already. So I know, for instance, at Walmart, even though, yeah, it's a penny cheaper to get the noodles here than it is to get the pasta over at Meyer or Sam's Club might be a little cheaper. You know, I'm finding where those little pennies are and some of you say, oh, it's not worth it. Guys, I'm saving hundreds of dollars. I'm not buying less. That's the thing. I'm not buying less. I'm buying more. Like last month, I was doing a lot of back stock. And I think that was part of why things were, I only saved a couple hundred rather than several hundred. You know what I'm saying? So I absolutely uh, love grocery haul day. I love getting it done. I'm going to be totally exhausted when it's all said and done. I'm kind of excited to be starting at Walmart. That's usually the third store that I go to and it's when I feel the most overwhelmed because Walmart is still relatively new to me. I've only been shopping here for two months and uh, things are close together and I don't know where everything is all the time and so I feel really overwhelmed. So I'm kind of excited to just like bite the bullet and get this done first and I'm headed in and then you can tell that I've got a lot of energy and so <laughs> I don't know if I need coffee. I do need coffee. I have had no coffee today and um, I'm gonna get coffee after this. The line was a little long so I decided, you know, let's wait on it. Let's go to Wally World. Let's do some shopping and uh, make sure that you check out my grocery haul prep video that I put out. You can see a lot of the whys behind why I'm buying things and things will make a lot of sense to you. Okay, let's do it. We're gonna start off noodles because you know I love them so much. So we're gonna get two of these Salantani, is that how you say it? I don't know, $1.28 for the Barilla and then two Rotini. They haven't been carrying the larger bags of the Mahat Mahatma rice. This is the five pound bag for $4.48. Love this stuff. I haven't been having a lot of luck getting taco shells elsewhere. I think I'm gonna go for this one. These are $2.24 for 18 of the crunchy shells. We need some extra straws for the kiddos. These are $1.98 for 100. Do you guys like blueberry muffins? My kids have been requesting them. These are $2.33 for the crusties, wild blueberry, and this mix is really good. The kids are wanting some marshmallows in their hot chocolate, so I'm gonna do that. That's $1.24 for those, and then, I'm gonna go down here to these little bit larger ones, $1.32 for the kind of regular medium size. Uh, I've been making this Peruvian chicken recipe lately, guys. It's so good. If you guys are interested in meals, like recipe videos, uh, let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to make them, but it's really good. You, it's like this Peruvian chicken over this really good flavorful rice, uh, jalapenos and tomatoes and green onions and, uh, it's so good. Anyway, I need more chili powder. So this one is 98 cents. We are in the last of our like sugar cereal binging or whatever. I'm not doing much more of it. 396 for the old Cocoa Pebbles family size. And I'm also gonna get the family size of the Fruit Loops, which are 398. And then this is exciting. I have not found Rice Krispies anywhere, which is crazy. This is 398 for these Rice Krispies. I'm looking at this great value one and it's only $1.48. Man, I don't typically go for like store brand or generic uh, cereal, but I kind of feel like the price difference is so much. 
I'm gonna get crazy. How many of you have tried Walmart's Rice Crisps? They're called Rice Crisps. There we go. I'm gonna do it. It is $1.48. One other thing, uh, you know, I got the Cocoa Pebbles, but we've also gotta get the Cocoa Pops. These are $3.98, family size. Adding some different snacks to our little snack cabinet here. Uh, these are $7.78. They're on sale for $7.87 at Meijer, so I'm still saving. And uh, my kids like the colored ones. They're sourced from plants and they have a little bit of a flavor to them. So I'm gonna grab one of these large boxes. I'm not gonna go too crazy like getting the Sam's Club one because they were somewhat interested but not overly interested and I don't want it to go to waste. Wait a minute, didn't this used to be $5.24? I'm gonna have to look back at my old videos. This is $5.92 for the popcorn and we like the light butter. Wow, I'm hoping they didn't change it that much. Have you guys seen this microwave pork rinds? Never heard of it. Popcorn seasoning spray caramel, what's this one? Theater popcorn seasoning spray, okay. I've never seen those, how exciting. I'm gonna pass though, that's a hard pass. I'm still looking at different kinds of things for the dog and trying to give him, you know, different things to chew on. I We have tried this one in the mini, that one, there's the mini, and uh, that worked pretty good. He did like those. I might grab one more of those, $7.92, and just give him another little try. I'm still looking, still trying different things out. There's just so many options, look at this. Oh my goodness. I need some more Murphy's oil soap for my floors, but here's the thing. I do not see where these actually belong. They're in the wrong spot, so I don't know what the cost is. Um, yeah, I might have to look that up. Also, I wanted to mention to you guys this. I've done a video. Uh, I was doing like a clean with me, and I cleaned my refrigerator with this Wyman stainless steel. You guys, this is the most amazing stuff. It works so well. Please, please check it out if you have stainless steel. It's beautiful. And I'll link my video below and you can see how I did it. I just found the Murphy's oil soap. So $3.53 for the bottle. I need some more little scrubby head things. Uh, these are the heavy duty scotch Bright for $2.97. All right, guys, I'm headed out. By the way, I just met this really cool kid. I was taking a picture for my thumbnail. I totally got caught and he was like, no, you're fine, do what you gotta do. But he was really, really nice. And so we got to chatting. Let's go check out a Walmart anyway. As I'm walking out, look at these fun little things. That's a cute little shirt. And then right next to it, sixty-four seventy-one. That's what it was at the Walmart. And Aldi doesn't open till nine. It's eight twenty-five. So I'm going to go to Target first. I'm really hoping that their coffee is there because I looked over across the street. Starbucks line is long. Anyway. Um, Let's go to Target. There's not a whole lot that I get there, but the things that I do get there are specifically, I go there for those things. So I'm gonna show you what I get. All right, hello Target. So I need to get some replacement cartridges for my razor. This is a four count for $6.49. I like the Up and Up brand. I like the five, um, the five blades that are included too. It seems to work really well. Have you guys ever seen this before? This is body wash concentrate, add water. It's a refill. Wait a minute, so what? I guess the kit is gone. Okay, I'm interested. I may have to look at that again. I don't use Dove necessarily, but that's interesting. Here's some reusable deodorant type things. What? Stainless steel case and one refillable. I don't see the refillables, but maybe this is it. Interesting, so you keep the package and then you're just getting this new thing. Okay, okay, Dove, I see what you're doing. Okay. So I've been thinking about getting these dish soap refills from Mrs. Meyer. I like the lemon verbena. It's pretty good. I think I'm gonna grab it and give it a whirl. It's $9.99. Have you guys used Method or Everspring? What are your thoughts on those? I haven't used them, so I'm not really totally sure, but I do love Mrs. Meyer. Noli needs more diapers, and um, I love the Target up and up brand. They work really well. The price is good. I can't get them really much cheaper anywhere else. So uh, I like to get the big one. Size five is what I'm going for today. And for 186 of them, it is $29.99. I also like to get their baby wipes. Their fresh cucumber is delightful. $18.99 for 1200 wipes. I just like the texture of them. They don't rip easily. They're good.
I don't know if you guys saw my Valentine's Day shop with me, but uh, I got the kids some shirts so that we can take some fun little pictures. And Johanna, I didn't find one that I liked for her. I'm still debating on this one. It's $7. I'm going to get it for now, and then if I find something different, I can always return it. But just thought you'd see that. I know it's not grocery, but it's part of the deal today. Time to check out. Including the shirt, my target run today was $78.98. I got five things. Oh, it's the big stuff though. The, the diapers are going to last me the month, maybe a little longer because I do still have some at home, but I never want to run low on those. That's like toilet paper. You don't want to run low on that kind of stuff. Um, I'm headed over to Aldi because it's now a minute till it opens. I've got my quarter. Do I have my bags? No, I don't. Did I put them in a place so I wouldn't forget them? Yes, I did. Did I still forget them? Yes, I did. I did get my coffee. I popped into Target, um, the Starbucks there and got it. So that's a positive. And uh, let's go buy some produce. I need some produce in my life. That's what I'm looking for today. Before I go into Aldi, I did want to show you that I'm, I'm eating some of these little cakes. Okay, my husband and I have been working on the pronunciation of these cakes for a very long time. And in America, I would say that people would call these Madelines. Madelines. We call them Madelines. Right? Yeah. Okay, so they would call them Madelines. We call them Madelines. I would like for you to put in the comments, Madeline's A, Madeline's B, choose B. I'm just telling you, spoiler alert, choose B. All right, it's open. I'm two minutes past nine o'clock. Let's do this. You guys, I cannot believe it. Strawberries here are $1.99. Now, remember, they never show up as well on my phone as they are in real person, but oh my goodness, I am so excited. I'm grabbing them. We love this. We just eat strawberries all the time. We're a little ridiculous. I am making green smoothies, you guys, and I'm gonna be putting celery in it. These are $1.69 for the organic celery hearts. I'm just gonna get kind of a smaller thing to try it out because I've never done celery in my smoothies, but I'm gonna be living dangerous and wild. Cilantro from Aldi is always really good. Um, I don't even know how much these are. Oh, 75 cents. We're gonna do it. I am introducing more salads into my life, people. Organic spring mix, 489. I'm just gonna do this guy. I know sometimes I get them at Sam's, but this one looks good. You remember that Peruvian rice recipe I told you about? It does call for some Roma tomatoes. Um, so I'm gonna grab two of them and they're 89 cents. Oh, I love spaghetti squash. It's only 99 cents a pound, you guys. That's really good. I cut them in half and get the seeds out and then I put salt and pepper and olive oil, stick them in my pressure cooker. I think I'm gonna say 10 minutes, 20 minutes. I'll post it here and you can see how long. And then I put it on high, natural release, and then it just comes out like beautiful little strands of noodles. Hence the spaghetti squashness of it. So I'm gonna grab one of these. I am starting to run low on honey and this Simply Nature organic wild honey is really good. It's $3.89 and I'll grab fella. I'm doing um, green smoothies, like I said, and lemon is really good in there to kind of balance out everything. I'm going to get a bag of them and they are $3.39. I want to get some black beans for my salad. They're 96 cents for these organic black beans. Typically I use Himalayan salt uh, from a, like a grinder, but I do like to have iodized salt on hand. Like sometimes if I salt the water or something when I'm making pasta or uh, potatoes or whatever. So this is 40 cents for these guys. Grabbing some Aldi applesauce, Simply Nature. $1.95, I am probably gonna grab three of them. No way, they have Chick-fil-A sauce here. Are you guys into that? I had no idea. Polynesian sauce, I didn't even know they carried that at Chick-fil-A. Fun. Grab an orange juice at Aldi, I'm gonna give it a try. I think we've maybe had it a long time ago and I don't remember what everyone's thoughts were on it. 245, this is 52 fluid ounces and it's pulp free, my friends. My girls have been struggling with milk and it's not uh, doing too well with their tummies. So we are doing oat milk and I use that in smoothies. They don't really want to drink it any other way. It's 249 for this Friendly Farms one and I think that's a fine price to be using in our smoothies. For everyone else though that can have milk, 264 for these guys. This is 2% here, which might be like uh, half fat where you're from or skinny, I think, as some of you had said. Skim milk would be our like fat-free 
2% would be the reduced fat. So maybe that's the skinny where you're from. And then um, whole milk might be like your full fat. I'm not sure what you guys would consider half and half. Half and half is something that some people put in coffee. They might cook with it a little bit much thicker than regular milk. I also need to get some eggs. I'm going to grab two. They're $1.23 each. And the limit here is six. Wow. Okay. I only need two though. <sighs> it's chilly out there. Okay. Went to Aldi. Should I tell you how much it is? Yes. Give me a second. You know, today's been like such a refresher to my heart because I saw somebody there that I knew and I got to catch up and chat with them and it was just lovely. Anyway, total $39.18 for the Aldi. So we're getting close to 200 now. Let's go to Meyer. Then we'll go to Sam's and then we'll wrap this thing up and put a pretty bow on it and call it done. Folks, we got to get some more eyebrow pencil goodness. I have a different kind than I normally use, but I can't find it momentarily. So this is the NYX um, Professional Makeup Micro Brow Pencil for $10.49 in the lovely Ash Brown. Want to go on a quick Valentine's Day tour? Here's some fun towels. We've got kitties, hearts. I love stripes. Ooh, I like that one a lot. Pretty. Gnomes. The gnomes are a big thing. Fun. And then all the kind of fun things that you can do with your kids. I do like to get these occasionally. The kids like them. That one's pretty. I like that. More fun sprinkles and decorating things. Candies galore. We're keeping it simple, people. That's all you get. I need some more multi-purpose spray, and I love Mrs. Myers. Uh, keep it under the sink in the kitchen. They're $4.29. I just smelled the daisy scent. I've never had that kind before, but it smells nice. It's like a nice, fresh floral scent, not too strong, because those kind of give me headaches, but no, this is good. They also have the dish soap, and you know I just bought that other dish soap, but you can't have enough dish soap, right? Okay. Let's not get crazy, people, but I am going to go for it. That one is also for $29. Really quick, look at these little organizing bins. I kind of like the two-tone. That's fun. Uh, I got some bins from Target a while ago for my back stock, and they're working pretty good. But these would actually be not so bad. They're not terribly expensive. It's an option. And then they've got some cute baskets over here. We haven't had mandarin oranges for a while. They're $4.99 for three pounds, and they look nice. They're a good size. I actually don't want too many because we won't eat that many, but this is a good amount. In my green smoothies, I'm going to be using some Granny Smith apples. These are $5.09 each for a three pound bag, so I'm going to grab one of those. And then we eat a ton of gala apples, and I always like to have those at hand. Those are $5.09 each for a three pound bag. So grapes are not on sale. Usually uh, I like to get them when they're $1.99 a pound, but they're $2.49. And I told you guys the last time they were way too big and I couldn't do it. That just gives me the creeps. I love that one of you from Egypt said that you're totally like that. You thought you were the only one. You are not the only one. And you said that your grapes are even smaller in Egypt. So, hey, that's really cool. Um, these, these look good, so I'm gonna go for these guys. There were too many people over by the bananas. They're 52 cents a pound for bananas. I just need a little bit. Remember that Peruvian chicken and rice I told you about? It calls for green onions. I do love a good green onion. They're 79 cents each. I asked you guys last time what for some cabbage recipes and you guys did not disappoint. A lot of them included sausage or like a deconstructed um, cabbage and meat type of a deal. But one of you said quarter it salt, pepper, olive oil, and then roast it, which is totally my favorite way to eat vegetables, roasted. And it's 79 cents for a head of cabbage. I'm getting the kids some cauliflower, two for five. And um, the regular price is 2.89. Now this does not say that I'm required to buy two in order to get the deal. So hopefully that works out. This one looks good. No, little, little there's kind of some weird spots. Just kidding. All right, that one looks better. Gonna go for it, just one. Uh, I need some more carrots. Here's a three pound bag, $2.99 each. I wanna add a little bit of ginger to my green smoothies, like a very little bit. So I'm going to get the absolute smallest piece possible. $3.49 a pound, like literally it's gonna be cents, just a couple cents. Oh, the craziness of life. In my prep video, I talked about how I make my own Cheesecake Factory bread rolls. 
and here I am buying them, but I really do make my own. I've got a good uh, recipe for them. They turn out so well. If you're interested, let me know. I've got a video uh, idea of some different recipes. So if you're interested in those kind of videos, let me know in the comments. But anyway, I'm buying them today. I don't know why, don't judge me. And by the way, they're $2.99 for the bag. I like to have a couple little loaves of bread. The split top white from Meyer is good, $1.49. I've been freezing them. You guys told me I could freeze them. And I am shocked that when I saw them, they're just as soft as when I bought them. It's pretty amazing. Oh yes, look at this. Ooh, the price is going up. Okay, so I'm not gonna buy too many of these guys, but we love top sirloin filet. Um, it is, let's see, $9.99 a pound, and I'm just gonna grab a couple of these. I like these a lot better than Sam's Club. I know you guys have said, oh, they're cheaper at Sam's Club. For some reason, even though it says it's the same cut, it cooks up so differently. It's it, I can't explain it. It's not, it's just not preferred, people. So I'm gonna grab a couple of these guys, keep them in the freezer. We do beef and broccoli with them. We do just steak by itself. I made this steak, egg, and hash thing uh, with HelloFresh a couple weeks ago, last week, I guess. And that one was good. So I got those for whenever. It's getting starting to get busy around here, guys, so I couldn't get too close. But there was jalapenos, and they were $1.39 a pound. I've just got two of them. That's gonna cost me little to nothing. Uh, just for something to like kind of switch up the smoothies every now and again, I'm gonna get the dark sweet cherries and they're unsweetened. It's just good old fashioned cherries for $3.89. My girl Jo cannot have milk. It is not good for her at all. She gets terrible stomach problems. So I'm looking around here and I'm seeing some different options. Now she's kind of uh, particular. She wants a certain you know, kind of thing and it's pretty plain. So I see this fudge brownie and I am going to go for that one. This one is Ben and Jerry's non-dairy frozen dessert. It's $4.79. I'm going to try it. That guy. I'm going to try this oat milk so delicious dairy free coconut or vanilla bean. Oh, I'm sorry. In coconut milk. I'm going to try that. I don't know if I could do the fair life. I don't know if it's a lactose thing or what part of the milk is causing the problem. She had some blood work done that showed she didn't have any allergies, but when she eats it, she gets severe stomach problems. So um, I want to stay away from that. I kind of want to try this s'more one. I don't know. Cracker flavored oat milk frozen syrup, chocolate bits. No, she doesn't like the chocolate bits. Okay, so just kidding. If you guys have any other suggestions, I don't really see anything else here that would be uh, dairy or non-dairy, there's, there's dairy, non-dairy up there made with almond milk, but she would not prefer those flavors. She probably just wants chocolate, to be honest. So if you guys have any ideas about that, let me know. I'm gonna grab some veggie straws. These are $2.79. These are the sweet potato ones, more so for the baby than anybody else. I'm not sure. I've never tried these with her before. We've done the other one that's up there. So we'll give it a try and see how it goes. We always like to have pretzels on hand. I'm gonna get the waffle style this time. They are 10 for 10. The 11th item is free. Hey. So you find all of the tags that say 10 for 10 and then you can mix and match all of those and then you get the 11th one free. Kind of fun. Ezra told me he likes peanuts, which I don't think I really knew. So I thought I would get him a little container of peanuts. Of course, we can all share them. Man, I really love those guys right there. Let's see if there's an equivalent. I think I'm gonna go for lightly salted. 349, the Meyer brand. Lightly salted peanuts, dry roasted. He haunts donkey chip time, 269 on sale. We like these. They're just tortilla chips, restaurant style, I guess. And uh, they're pretty good. You guys know how much pasta we have and I need to switch it up for these kids. I don't know why they're happy with it, but it just seems wrong. <laughs> so I'm gonna switch things up. Sometimes I like to do a snack plate. And uh, we haven't had them with kettle chips in a really long time. They're two for four, and uh, I'm gonna go for it. Can I do a quick impulse buy here? Of course I can. 309, I love soup and oyster crackers, and I don't know if my kids have ever tried them. I'm gonna give them a try and see if they'll, they'll give them a try, and we'll see. They're so good, so comforting. For my roast, I need some beef broth. So I make my roast in my pressure cooker, and instead of adding water to it, I add beef broth. These are 10 for 10, going for it. 
Well, look at that. Meyer has it on the end cap too, the Chick-fil-A sauce. What's going on, Chick-fil-A? Something new, something exciting. So Jardins, I love their uh, cucumber in lime. They don't have it right now. They just have the tequila and lime. So I'm just gonna grab Newman's uh, mild salsa. It's a good substitute, $2.59. Walmart did not have my jelly, but look, Meyer finally has it back in stock. $3.19, we love the Welch's natural strawberry. I'm gonna grab two. Also, Ezra was asking about grape jelly, so it's $1.89, I'm gonna get the Meyer brand. I always love to have Libby's crafted olives on hand. These are the medium black, very good. I also like green, so not a discriminator. I'm gonna grab two. Whenever I need a little extra help getting uh, water into me, I like to buy the little Ice Mountain sparkling water. Orange and the berry, what's it called? Triple berry are really good and they're 79 cents each. I'm going to grab, I think, two of each flavor. What is this? Lucky Charm sugar cookie dough with marshmallow bits. I don't know about the texture, but that's very interesting as well as look at these cute little Valentine chocolate chip cookies. Cute. I'm staying focused right here on the challenge butter. I think I even have a coupon for $2 off. I just need one to complete. I like to have four in the fridge, um, you know, at the start of whatever, at the start of my shopping. So I just need one more for that. I don't know what it is about butter, but it all just looks so beautiful. Like. For some reason, it just seems like they would be so much better, like Kerrygold, Finlandia, Finlandia. Look at that, it's in a pretty plastic thing. Danish creamers, Vermont. I don't know, it just seems beautiful. This roll of butter, I gotta take you guys to Harvest Market sometimes. They have a whole area where they make butter at the store. It's super cool. I have some coupons for Pediasure, and I guess I can't use them at Sam's Club, so I thought I would get a couple here. They're $10.99, and I've got like a $5 off coupon, you guys, so I am going to grab two. Here's me and my cart. Let's go check out. I think we're done. Then we're going to go to Sam's Club and end it all. I just left Meyer. The total there was $136.76. So those coupons I have for the Pediasure pretty much paid for them minus like a dollar or two and then I had some other coupons that I don't normally have but um what's cool is I'm looking on here and some of the things that were like the 10 for 10 Meyer will still uh, accept that you do less than 10 of an of the items and you still get the item for a dollar so there is some savings there and then other little things that were on sale it looks like um, it took care of business even if I didn't get like multiples of it because it'll say you know two for five and maybe I only got one I still get it for 250 so like the cauliflower was two for five I bought one I still got got it for 250 so that's kind of nice that Meyer does that sometimes it'll say on there that you have to get what they say in order to get the discount um, but hey one more shot people let's go I still got my coffee and it's bustling around here I feel like I'm going very slow on this grocery haul today usually three and a half hours start to finish and we're already at the three hour mark so I guess that's just Sam's and I know exactly what I got to get there let's just go let's stop talking about it let's go Oh, look at this. You can give away popcorn for uh, your Valentine's Day. They're $9.98 for these. That's fun. Caramel, snicker, snickerdoodle, kettle, and zebra. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, you guys, look at what Sam's Club has. Four-piece kitchen storage set. 20 bucks for the four pieces. They have some small bins, some large bins. Do I do it? Yes, I do. How many of you like to talk in song lyric or in movie uh, lines? Yes, what movie was it that I just did right there? Do I help them? Yes, I do. Look at all the paper towels and the toilet paper. That's where I'm headed, folks. They are prepared. Look at this today. Okay, I'm going to get a thing of toilet paper, a thing of paper towels, and a thing of tissues. They're $19.98 for the Members Mark Sam's Club brand. Somebody said that these were not septic tank safe and I did check and they sure are. So I'm not sure where they got their info, but I want to search in and they are septic safe, boom. 
how many of you blow your nose all day, every day? Doesn't matter what season it is, doesn't matter what time of year it is. 1264 tissues make the world go round, and I'm grabbing them. Paper towels, limit one. These are $16.98. Um, you know I like select a size, so let's make sure we're getting that. Those of you that don't do select a size, you're amazing. You live on the wild side for sure. Do people just eat hazelnuts by themselves? I don't think I've ever seen that. Maybe just not in that kind of packaging. I'd have to see what that tastes like. I can't remember what hazelnuts taste like. All right, marinara sauce, six ninety eight because they're two dollars off. Look at that. When I was at Walmart, I noticed that for one jar, I think it was six ninety something or six something. So it's a steal of a deal, and um, I'm gonna grab a couple of them. I don't know, maybe just three this time. We have a Keurig, so we need K-Cups, and I like the Sam's Club brand. Uh, Colombian Supreme is good. They've got French. I've done the Organic Dark Roast. That's good, too. They're all $24.98 for 100 cups of them. Oh, which one do I pick? I think I'm going to go for the Colombian. A favorite snack of ours are these little petite white hoagies for $6.98. They're just good. Buttered, not buttered, just as they are. They're so good. Aussies, look what they're saying. These are traditional Aussie bites. Is it true? Rolled oats, dried apricots, raisins, flax seeds, sunflower seeds, honey, shredded coconut, and more. Is this an Aussie thing? Uh, the famous peppers, $6.98. I love them so much. Cucumbers, you guys, some of you have told me that you think my price here is outrageous. $3.98 for three seedless cucumbers. I wish it was as cheap as some of the places that you guys go. That's awesome never seen these before pretzel bites cheddar cheese dip and sweet and spicy mustard dip i do love soft pretzels they're so good not getting them but showing you it's peanut butter time 977 for a jiff you get two of them tell me what your favorite kind of peanut butter is i grew up eating skippy i know some people like peter pan we're really hooked on jiff right now also getting nutella 1058 for two of these big guys usually one of these guys at the at Meyer for the same price at the end of Sam's um, there were things here that I needed like club crackers didn't have them animal crackers didn't have them they do have M&Ms and I bought them the last time but I'm not doing it this time they were so good the baby had M&Ms for the first time did you guys see that short I put out of her trying them for the first time it was totally unscripted she was all about it it was hilarious anyway I'm gonna check out I'm gonna tell you the total for Sam's then I'm gonna tell you the grand total then I'm gonna go home and put it all away can you please come and help me please help me Sam's Club is done 189.42 that does include those two boxes of organizing things for the refrigerator how about the grand total you want to know that one the grand grand total for all five stores was 50901 I don't think I was planning to spend quite that much, but that's what happened. So I got the baby stuff, I got some organizing stuff, I got my tissues that are gonna last me for now until forever, I got all the food things. <sighs> it's done, guys. I hope that you have an amazing day. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Until next time, many blessings, bye.